a man in New Zealand is stopped at a gas station. When this orange light rips by overhead in a perfect arc, it was accompanied by a high-pitched sound that broke the audio on his camera and hurt his ears. I don't think that it's car headlights because it approaches from a weird angle, plus the way it moves is far from normal. While investigating the Anglefield Green Social Hall, YouTube team Southern Ghost Society captures some clear poltergeist activity. Listen closely for the EVP. I'm not sure what that sound was, but another camera manages to capture it from a different angle. This table just went. It sounds to me like a door creaks and then something bangs loudly nearby. We can't see anything in the darkness, so I'd be curious to find out if anything was moved once the lights were turned back on. Regardless, this does seem to me to be paranormal. Is the haunted Papworth Hospital worth exploring? YouTube Team Ghost Theory tests their fates to answer that question in this scary video. As they enter the building, they hear a whistle. Continuing their tour of the hospital, the spirits there respond to their questions. Can you see us? That was a yes, wasn't it? Yeah. What the actual... They get an affirmative answer again. Are there more than one... Is there more than one spirit here? Yes. As they stay quiet for a minute, they hear multiple noises in the stillness. That's weird. And also, I'm confused because why in like a reception area? Yeah, well, I guess they could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah wandering around. Is that yeah. true? Are you just, do you just walk around here? Further along, they capture a door moving. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, no, I Whoa. just heard that. I just started recording. That door's just moved. They then hear a loud thump from another room. Wow. And then another strange noise is heard. As they head outside, there's faint crying in the night. Look, a baby. Did a baby cry in there, did you? No. I think it could be just one of the houses. There aren't any. There are just there, in front of us. The lights on. Is that a baby crying? Before they can find out, they face off with some of the scariest beings that ghost hunters can ever encounter. Humans. While the team may have been here, it sounds to me like they're not alone. It seems plenty of spirits are afoot at Papworth. YouTuber Kelsey Davies investigates the Mag House, a house haunted by its former residents. As they're entering, a strange sound is heard. Oh, wow. So these are the rooms that you got to see originally? Yeah. Then Kelsey feels a presence behind her. Whoa. The floor just shook behind me. That was so weird. Ooh, it felt like someone was stepping like on the floor behind me. Oh my gosh, so... As one of Kelsey's guests shares some info about the home, they hear something. Everything I know about Mary, she was super kind yeah. and wonderful. I've actually had descendants of the family with memories of the family still living here up until 1955. Where Mary still... Kelsey speaks to the spirit present and she answers. 
If you can figure that out, if you can make it beep for us, we would absolutely love that and appreciate that. You can use that energy from my light. In fact, she seems very excited to speak to them. Are you able to figure out how to use this? I don't know how to like explain how to use it. Is there anything you want to say to Jamie or? Is... Oh. She does. Oh my God. And things start to get personal. Are you the man that was in the car with me? Yes. Or something. Okay. Okay. Did that say Strings moving and unexplained sounds are heard. You see the lamp? Is there like air or something moving the strings? See how the strings are like moving? It's like not really focusing on it. Oh. When they try to contact a spirit in one of the room, they receive a whisper. If there's anyone here with us, can you make a tap noise or a knock? I know there was a little boy. Amongst the museum cat's paw prints, they see what looks like a fingerprint as well. Have you ever seen like fingerprints on oh, here? Paw oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are those? We have a museum cat. Oh yeah. cute. Probably a what is that? While discussing the coughing they heard earlier, they hear something in the moment. Have to check. I heard like I don't I almost sounded like a woman like coughing really hard. And it yeah. sounded painful, like <sighs> like you know how tuberculosis is like yeah. really, really it came from over there. The paranormal devices are actively triggered in one of the hallways. This, I'll show you how it works. I heard a little boy go like, ooh, he's never seen this. Whoa. What is that? Ashley, what does that mean? <laughs> it doesn't do that. After moving the devices slightly, they continue to be triggered. Oh my gosh. They are so active in here, it's insane. And once they reach the attic, it sounds like someone is there with them. Any fingerprints on them? I know, I'm not trying to see. Huh. Heard something over there. While their investigation didn't capture anything definitive, in my opinion, there are enough pieces to puzzle together that this place is haunted. The family never left. This apartment has a rogue poltergeist on the loose, and Seeker of Ghosts has come to tame it. First, the poltergeist demands that you wash your hands. In fact, he's pretty adamant about it. He then takes another tack. And later shuts the investigator in. Board, he switches the TV on. Then this happens. Oh, what a After that, it's no holds barred. Later, as the investigator talks to the camera, the poltergeist becomes the director. I'm
I don't know about you, but I don't think the taming is working yet. May 17th, 2006 at 8.12 p.m., the Monterey Witch of Mexico was caught on video flying just above the Mexican hills. She glides above the ground, just as you would imagine a witch to fly through the air, floating through the sky serenely. There's a good several yards between her and the hills below, with plenty of blue between. After the clear view of her dark shape against the skyline, her profile is shown as a white speck against the green hills as she skates across a canyon. The video goes on for a good two minutes and it doesn't appear to be a hoax as the being traverses the cliffs. The figure is tall and cylindrical, flying across a very windy canyon, which makes some UFO researchers believe that it can't be normal. It must be paranormal. Diana Perla Chapa, a UFO group leader and researcher from Monterey and a popular Mexican TV host and UFO investigator confirms this. Experts say that there is no way something could move so steadily because it's a very windy canyon, she said. Speaking at the Mutual UFO Network of Los Angeles conference, a YouTuber named Ariane Childress is a ghost hunter using some sort of paranormal software that I'm not familiar with. It almost looks like split screen night vision with some sort of enhancement feature on the right. Anyway, Ariane uses the program to capture what appears to be an oversized face lingering in her window. No, seriously, I'm like looking at this window. There's nothing out there. <laughs> it looks like there's a face. That's really creepy. She says that she's been feeling watched in real life when she turned the app on and pointed it towards the window. Meanwhile, the colors continue to switch from pitch black to a gray discolored face. Not normal. Be sure to let me know what this app is and how it works if you have any knowledge. This short clip from a paranormal investigation leaves me wanting more. As the device is going off, Danny from Nighthawks Paranormal asks the spirit politely to back off. Can you step away, please? Thank you. And it listens. Then the spirit politely asks him to back off. If you want me to leave... Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. This intriguing exchange has me convinced that ghosts really are trying to communicate with us, and it has me convinced to watch the full investigation. This YouTuber didn't notice what he'd captured on camera until he played it back later, and when he saw it, he was scared. Published by Sphinx2720 in March of 2010, the scary video was taken at Gettysburg. The investigator is standing amongst some boulders at the beginning of the clip. He says the cluster of rocks is called Devil's Den. As he walks around the den, he appears to capture the devil himself. What looks like a large cloaked shadow figure is looming right in front of the den. Another oddity occurs at the beginning of the video and was noted by Akeo Ateo in the comments. As the investigator is getting his bearings with his camera, a dark figure in the distance beyond the nearby rock is spotted lurking past. What is going on here at Gettysburg? Do these figures have anything to do with the area's history? This rare video was taken about a year ago. During the middle of a seance, the group is moving the pointer in a circle to clear the board when suddenly the camera woman asks, Can you manifest into an orb near Sam? There is a bit of an accent, but her exact words are, Can you manifest into an orb near Sam? Sure enough, a tiny ball of white light darts past the group shortly after. It could be editing, it could be a coincidence, or it could be a very polite and respectful ghost who is doing exactly as they were told. A YouTube channel called Outdoor Adventures encounters some creepy activity in the woods that some viewers are certain is paranormal. It happens during the first 
first night of a camping trip. He's looking into the distance when there's a brief burst of movement coming from over his shoulder. He suspects that this could be some deer running behind him, but I think it looks more like a ghost encounter because of its pale color and formless shape. Ordinarily, I would say that this was steam from his breath, except this was taken in the middle of summer in north central Pennsylvania, so it's obviously too warm out. And I don't think he's making up the date because it's warm enough that he doesn't need a jacket. So that's the surprising and all. But there's one more scary part to this video that I'm sure you won't expect. Did you happen to see the eyes watching over his shoulder at 2 minutes and 17 seconds? Because whatever this is, sure sees the camera. It's odd eyes spaced across an unseen face, much larger than yours or mine. Night Owl 2007 published this video of a creepy sewer creature in February of 2018. In the video, some guys are walking along the road at night when they stop at a big heavy manhole cover and proceed to enter into the sewer. They remember how scary the sewer is, long dark tunnels, loud echoes. In order to see how deep one of the tunnels goes, the crew cracks a neon stick light and turning off all other light sources, throws it into the tunnel. The tunnel must be deep, but the depths do terminate, as you can still see a tiny pinprick of light in the distance. As they're playing around with the neon sticks, the camera catches a skull-like face peeking over one of the crew's shoulders. I don't think you're throwing out enough light here. What do you think? Uh, what the f it looks like a ghoulish mask leering behind him, but when the guy moves out of the way and the cameraman casts his camera beyond, there's nothing there. Needless to say, the entire crew springs into action, racing out of that sewer like no one's business. There is a roaring sound at the end, echoing as they jet out of the tunnel. We can assume they made it out alive, otherwise we wouldn't have this video to show for it. A group of friends see a stranger leave the woods in a hurry. They think it's odd and make a video. Andy caught someone coming out of the tunnel. Uh, pretty creepy, pretty scary. So. Oh, bro, what's that smell? Oh, it's rank. Can you smell that? Guys, it literally flies all over the place. Oh, bro, can you smell that? That stinks, bro. Oh, nasty, huh? In the tunnel, they find a white sheet covered in red with a very distinct human outline underneath, and this is their reaction. Oh, oh, that stinks! Oh. <laughs> Man, that was grim. I wouldn't see body right now. Wouldn't ring the police. As crazy as anything. Having this happen would be really scary. We need to ring the police. What? We need to ring the police. Have you got a phone? No, I've not got a phone. Get Have you phone, got one? Bro. Can I please, please? One minute you're hanging out with your friends, and the next moment you're all suspects. Yeah, I've just found a. Uh, just been exploring with me, and we've just found a body. What is hiding in this deep, dark cave in Romania? This crew of adventure seekers is about to find out. Watch closely in the darkness. <laughs> What is that lump? It looks like an animal sleeping. The guys appear scared of the mysterious creature, and they start to make their way out of the cave. Their camera goes berserk. Did they just escape from the cave creature of Romania Borsec? Personally, I think this was just a trick of the light, but I still get the chills from this clip. I'm staying far away from caves either way. Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, The Bride of the Train Line, gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. 
in the darkness. There's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment where it captures this figure in white. Nossa, my <laughs> Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. KT Camp records her overhead lights swaying back and forth. They start out moving clockwise, but at the end of the video, they are starting to move the other way. Maybe she twisted up the cord on purpose to make it do this, but that doesn't explain the orbs. There's an especially large one here that is different from the others in size, shape and speed as well. Real haunting or just a fake attempt in a dusty kitchen? You tell me. YouTuber Lloyd's House of Horrors believes his son and daughter have seen a ghost. Hello guys, um, I'm here with my, my kids and I'm in the room and they called me and told me that they seen something. Where did you see it, Nia? Where in Loasho? Could you guys show me? Yeah. Okay, come show me this here. Yeah? One of his kids leads him to the washroom, and when he does, this happens. Um, yeah. Okay, show me. Oh my goodness. Whoa, Lee! Nazir! Nazir! Did the ghost just imprison Lloyd's son? While watching this clip over again, I noticed there seems to be something behind the door at this point. The door appears to rebound a bit when the boy opens it wider. Whether what's behind it is a ghost or a person is anyone's guess, though. According to Marisol Cole, this house was built in 1890 and abandoned for decades. She and her friend get a bad feeling as they head up the steps and feel an immense energy weighing them down. As they cross into the kitchen, they find this cold, unsmiling photograph that makes them gasp out loud. <gasps> the woman's expression looks pained and worried, as this man is across from her with a slight look of concern as well. Maybe it was just the style at the time to look serious during a photograph, or maybe something unspeakable happened here to make them look that way. When Marisol leaves, they are surprised to find the door instantly locked behind them, when there should have been no possible way. And when Marisol glances across the street for one last look, she captures this small, sullen face staring back at her in the window. A face which, even from a distance, passingly resembles the photograph of the man they found earlier. So did they move his picture to the window to fake this part? Or do you think it's possible they really saw him? I'm going with the latter. This isn't a gentle good morning. Published to YouTube by C4CAT in March of 2018, this is what happens when an early bird of a ghost is angry that you're not up yet. The video shows a man asleep in bed as window curtains nearly blow, at times pushing the entire curtain to the side. The young man at first remains undisturbed by this. At one point when the curtain is brushed over, you can see something white appear behind the bars of the window. Then an obscure flash of white passes close to the camera. Shortly after, there's a slow disturbance in the man's blanket. Part of it lifts until the entire blanket billows up. It's then ripped off of him by an unseen force. Like a bucket of cold water, this is one alarm clock you wouldn't want to wake up to. A YouTuber named You Want Sun catches an eerie moment on live TV when this news anchor has a problem unlike any I've seen. She sounds normal the entire time, but she starts blinking excessively, followed by this. Reporting a record turnout at this point. Nevada and Nebraska are also showing that Democrats are getting a jump on early voting. In Washington, I'm Susan Roberts. Ron and Mary. Pause, pause. 
Fuck. I've seen videos where both eyes change into a creepy off color before, but I've never seen a video where one eye stays the same and one eye does whatever this is. Also, they cut away from her as soon as it happens, which makes Yuwad's son wonder what exactly happened here. I think it's possible, but I'm not sure so I'd like to get your thoughts. Was this a glitch or something way worse? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.